Today I'm gonna show you how to keep only the ground points in a point cloud using Cloud Compare and a nice plugin called CSF. Let's do it! The first thing to do is to open Cloud Compare. After we have opened Cloud Compare, we need to load a point cloud. Let's load one using the open menu. Let's select here the type we want. It can actually work with a lot of uh, um, different types. So let's we have a last cloud, last a large one actually. So double click it. Okay, then we we get asked for the things to load. Everything is okay. So apply all. The subsequent thing to do is to set the global shift and scale. The scale is usually okay as it is, but the shift is actually um, computed by uh, Cloud Compare. As you can see in the drop down, you have suggested or previous input, and uh, this allows you to load more than one uh, pod cloud using the same shift. The shift is mandatory as we are working with uh, geometric uh, data, so the referenced on the ground and the numbers are very large. Cloud Compare actually uses float as internal representation, so we need to scale everything to uh, avoid number precision loss due to the floating point system used in the computer. So let's keep it, yeah, click yes, and load the last file. The last file is actually here. Let's click on the cloud and change the representation using the scalar field with setting the scalar field as a classification. As you can see, this is a classified cloud. And the, we want to get rid of almost everything, but not the ground. So to do this, we can just use the CSF filter, which is under the plugins menu. As you can see, the cloth simulation filter. Uh, what this plugin do is actually flip the cloud upside down and to let a fabric drop on it. After doing that, you have the inverse of the ground. So you can uh, flip it again and uh, you have the actual ground of the the cloud so let's make it up again okay on the okay on the side is okay and just reopen the plugin as if you want something um, to know something more about this plugin you can visit the home page of the authors once you open the plugin you need to select some options to tweak the mechanism at the base of the plugin you need to select the scene we here we have some uh, steep slope so we can set this and we want to click also the slope processing you need to make some tests and try to figure out which are the best settings for you but the interesting part is here you need to lower the resolution so you it's better to fit it at one one uh, is the grid size of one meter and the iteration we have want maybe one thousand let's click ok and wait a bit after that we actually uh, I'll compare and select the current, the, the cloud we worked on, and add another one. We, we can actually keep, cut the off ground points, we can switch, up, switch it off, and we get the, the ground points. We got the result we wanted. This, is, this was a classified cloud, so we may keep only the classes we wanted, but this is an example and you actually may this works with every cloud which has ground obviously context is uh, important so you cannot f use it with a, a 3d scan of a, a mug for example 
for the data for the, from the fields is okay. So that's all for, for now. Thank you for listening. Remember to subscribe to receive all the updates. Thank you. Click the like button and see you next time.